Hey everyone, Andrea Praver here with Great Expectations Realty. So today I figured I would play a little game just to kind of, you know, do something a little bit different. And I would actually show you four different houses that are currently available or about to be available. They're all houses that are for sale. And I want you to try and guess how much you think the house is and how much the property taxes are on the house. So I'm gonna explain a little bit um, and kind of show you some examples of what the property taxes are here in Marion County, Florida. <laughs> Florida, because <laughs> I know in some states there are some like astronomical property taxes. We don't really have that here. So I do wanna kind of show you and then just break it down what you would actually pay monthly. Um, and I'm going to use two different examples. One is if you do USDA because every one of these four houses do qualify for USD fi USDA financing, which is um, basically for rural development. So uh, a large quantity of our homes here do qualify for that. And you can look it up online and um, I can put a link down in the description um, just talking about what is USDA financing and stuff. But it's basically um, something through the government to help us develop our rural area. So because these houses are in what is considered a rural area, which by the way, all of Marion County except inside the city limits of Ocala is actually USDA. <laughs> so um, yeah, you can actually um, do zero money down um, financing through this government program. Okay, so this first house, like I said, is a three bedroom, two bathroom, double car garage. It was built in 1999. It has tile flooring throughout, all one tile. It's not like, you know, different tiles in different rooms. All one tile. Um, it is 1,216 square footage living. So that's like under heat and air. Um, we're not talking like porches or garage or anything like that. The garage is almost 500 square feet. That's separate. Okay. So this is what I would consider a cookie cutter home. Um, this is definitely the type of home that I recommend to people for investments or first time home buyers or something like that. Okay, so what do you think the price of this home is? It is located in Bellevue, uh, just outside of like the city of Bellevue, but it is located in Bellevue. Okay, so this house is listed at 169,900. Um, the taxes, it was not homesteaded. So the current taxes are $1,988 for a year. So for us, that's pretty high. That's an investor type taxes, not owner occupant. When you are an owner occupant here in Florida, we have something called homestead exemption exemption. So you actually, um, get a reduction of your property taxes because it is your home. This is not something you're trying to make money on. It's something you live in and you raise your family in or whatever. So this is actually that. Now, thankfully there is a house right next door that is almost identical and almost built at the same time. Um, so I can use that for <laughs> the property taxes purposes and I didn't have to do any equations. Not doing math for me is always fun. <laughs> I already had to do enough math with all this. Anyway. So the house next door is homestead exemption, same pretty much everything else. Um, that is at $871.67 for the year. So as you can tell, the homestead exemption is a big deal. It is a huge reduction in your property taxes. Not that, that you know, $1,000, $2,000, I'm sorry it is, but okay. So not that that's like a huge astronomical amount, but when you consider what um, an owner occupant pays in comparison, it's a lie. Okay, so, so that is the taxes on that. Um, so now <laughs> you kind of figured out how we're playing now. Okay, so this house at $169,900 with zero down, so the USDA financing or you know some other similar program, I put an interest rate in at 3.5% and I just did that across the board with all of this. That's a little bit higher than the average, but I just figured let's be conservative, okay? <laughs> so the non-homestead, so let's say you have a home price of 169,900, zero down, 3.5% interest rate on a 30 year fixed, um, no homestead exemption, and interest I put at um, insurance I put at about $700 per year. 
That means that your monthly bill for your house is going to be $981. And yes, that does include the PMI, which is um, the mortgage insurance. So you have to have mortgage insurance on your mortgage until you have paid off at least 20%, or if you put off, uh, pay 20% down or more, you don't have that insurance on there. So $981, and that's again, not homestead, that's like worst case scenario right there, okay? So with 20% down, same scenario, but with 20% down, it's gonna be about $829 per month. So that's getting rid of that PMI and paying off um, part of that mortgage amount that I had in the previous example, $829 per month. Um, with the homestead exemption in um, zero down, you've got $971. So it's only like a $10 difference um, as far as your monthly payment with that homestead exemption. But once you have your mortgage paid off, I mean, that's still, that's considerable. So um, with the homestead exemption and 20% down, a house right now here in Marion County, Florida, that is um, selling for $169,900, your monthly bill with everything included is going to be about $736. And just to let you know, I'm getting these numbers from Prime Lending, um, my friend Debbie. Oh, Cowan, she does um, mortgage lending. She uh, works just across the street from us and at Prime Lending. So she uh, told me about the calculator there. So that's what I'm using today. These numbers are not for my poor blonde head. It just doesn't work that way. Okay, so this house, this house is just about to hit the market. I'm so super excited about it. Uh, this one is um, in a neighborhood just off of Highway 200 and Airport Road. So that's one of the busier areas. And so to be in a subdivision off of that area is like huge. That's like three minutes to a Starbucks. I mean, <laughs> for Marion County, that's really cool. <laughs> okay, so this, um, this house is a four bedroom. It has a fenced yard. It has a screened in porch. It has two bathrooms. It has a double car garage and a shed and I mean it's just it's awesome it's a beautiful beautiful house so I'm really excited to to sell it <laughs> all right so this one is living square footage 1777 square feet so obviously it does not include the screen and porch which is a really good size it doesn't include the garage it doesn't include anything like that um so this one was built in 2002 and it just got a brand new roof so how much do you think this one is selling for? Give up? Okay, this one is selling for $239,900. And I'm going to give you a minute. How much, this is not homesteaded. Okay, so you guys were kind of catching on to the homestead exemption thing. So this is not homesteaded. This was an investment property and now it's being sold to, you know, either another investor or uh, owner occupant. Um, so currently not homesteaded. How much do you think the taxes are on it? Give up. Okay. $2,688.41. So for this house that I found across the street, I got to figure out where I actually wrote it down. Um, oh yeah, here it is. The house across the street is almost identical square footage and built about the same time. That house their taxes, non-homestead, or they are actually homesteaded. Whew, excuse me. They are actually homesteaded. So their taxes are $1,476 per year, which is, I think, pretty good. Okay, so with this house, let's say you have, which it is also just by like two streets, it's still in USDA. So you could do the zero down. Um, and I did... 3.5% interest rate, 30 year fixed, um, with taxes and insurance and PMI, because of course zero down, it's going to end up being $1,494 per month. And that's everything, PMI, everything included. Okay, with the homestead exemption, so bringing that tax bill down, um, it's gonna end up being about $100 less per month. So it's $1,393, so almost exactly $100 per month. With 20% down 
and the homestead exemption, you're looking at $1,059 per month for this gorgeous house. Isn't that cool? That's cool, right? Okay. Are you having fun yet? Okay, we'll see. All right. So this is one. This is actually a really good friend of mine. <laughs> She's kind of family. So let's play again. This one is a four bedroom, two bathroom, double car garage, privacy fence backyard, above ground pool. It's on a quarter acre, a screened in porch and a shed. And in the uh, house, it's four bedroom, but it also has an office. It was built in 2003. It's been the same owner. It's 1,820 square feet of living space. And of course it has that double car garage, which doesn't count, nor does the screened in porch. How much do you think this one is going for? This one is selling for 209,900. So this one is, it does have the homestead exemption. So how much do you think the taxes are on this house? The taxes are $1,196 per year. So if you had a mortgage of 209,900, did zero down, you did um, the homestead exemption, of course, um, and 3.5% interest rate, which if you checked with your lender, you probably get a better rate than that. But again, let's be conservative. Um, this one would end up being $1,196 per month for everything. That's like PMI everything. Pretty cool, right? Now, what about with the 20% down? that is going to reduce it down to $993 per month. And this house is on well and septic, so there's no water bill involved either. So the only thing that you would have to pay would be like the electric bill, which it's Duke Energy, pretty inexpensive. I asked Judy, she said her electric bill runs less than $100 per month for most months. Pretty cool, right? It's not bad. Okay, let's move into our final house. Last one, I only did four. Uh, but if you guys have fun playing this game, I would be more than happy to play it with <laughs> some more houses. Um, or if there's a couple of houses that you actually found that you're interested in, just let me know and I can run these numbers for you. Currently listed. Is a two bedroom, two bathroom, with an office and it has a double car garage. Um, what is unique about this house is it's in a 55 plus gated guarded community. Uh, this is in Del Webb, Spruce Creek, which you guys probably already saw the video that I just did uh, about this community. It's like the amenities are insane. It has like three pools, one of them's indoor, one's heated. Uh, it has a huge softball diamond. It has basketball courts, it has uh, like four different golf courses. <laughs> it's, it's pretty intense. I think it's like a 14,000 square foot fitness center alone. I mean, it was just, you name it, they have it. Okay. It's really, really nice. Uh, the HOA for this particular house is $143 per month. So you get all of that stuff, all the amenities and all of the other stuff, all of that is $143. So if you're looking for you know, moving down here and you want like a gym membership and stuff and you're kind of wanting a gated community or something, this, there you go, all done. <laughs> it's all inclu included. And you can ride your golf cart down there. I would do it just for the golf cart. I love the golf carts, but anyway. Um, okay, so this one, how much do you think it's actually selling for? Oh, oh, I almost forgot. How could I forget? It is going with all of the furnishings included and they're really nice furnishings. Like, look at this, isn't that nice? It has like a Bose surround sound system. It has, an, for the living room, it has another Bose system sitting in the um, kitchen. It has the flat screen TV. It has all the appliances. It has like everything, like from dish towels on over, it's all there. So if you were to purchase this house, you literally could just come in with like the clothes on your back and start going to the swimming pool. That's it. Okay, so how much do you think this house is? This one with everything included, all furnishings, electronic, all appliances, all that, 
$212,900. Okay, so with this one, I had to do it a little bit differently because we have that HOA fee, which I wanna build into that monthly payment. So the tax is on this, it is homesteaded. It's $1,461.17 for the year. There are additional exemptions, by the way, besides just homestead. Um, there are some for um, veterans, there are some for disabled veterans, there's all sorts of stuff that you can you know, get for further exemptions. Um, I have actually seen where somebody had uh, property taxes of $25 per month, or per year, per year. $25 per year. I'm like, hmm, okay. So, <laughs> so everybody up in like New Jersey right now is going, ugh. <laughs> So, okay, this one, all of that, let's see, it is, it still qualifies for the rural development, the USDA. So if you wanted to do zero money down at 3.5% interest um, with that homestead exemption already in place, $1,461 per year, um, it ends up being $1,234 per month. Plus you have that 143. So all told, $1,377 that's it you get all of those amenities and everything else like all set up all your furnishings all everything no money down $1,377 per month that's crazy like it's really crazy low okay so what if you actually put 20% down same exact thing with the HOA fee and everything $1,171 so it reduces it a couple hundred bucks per month so um that is pretty amazing and in order to get those homestead exemptions all you had to do is go ahead and i think you can actually do it online at this point you just put in like um, your driver's license to prove that that is your home address that's basically just proving that it's your home address that's the main point um they want you to actually be an owner occupant in order to get those exemptions but that's about it you know maybe show them a utility bill or something but again it's just proof that that's your house it's actually a lot easier to do that than it is to get your license renewed at the DMV. So <laughs> it's also the same office just to let you know. Yeah. All right. Well, if you guys have any other questions or if you want to play this game again, or if you have some um, addresses that you would like me to run those numbers for you, I would be more than happy to do that. If you want a little more in-depth information about your own personal finances and what you can get the house for and what you qualify for, that's going to be through one of our qualified mortgage uh, lenders that we recommend. I am not affiliated with any mortgage lender at all, but I do have some that I prefer just because I've worked with them many times and they've never let me down. But if you want to work with your lender, just give them a call and find out what your numbers would be for moving down here. And I'm sure they would be more than happy to help you out. All right. Well, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified of new videos and new content coming out. Thanks so much. Bye.